Okay guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be looking at the um, triple pack for the white version of Mantid. Um, he also comes with Titanium Dragonoid and Trox. Um, very excited to see how this uh, rip card system works. Um, see if we have a rule book in here. It also comes with the um, character cards as well, I believe these packs do. And um, I just wanted to take another look at this packaging real quick because I noticed something on these. If you pay attention to the Trox here, it's just a regular version of Trox. It's the blue version or aquas, whatever we want to call it, version of Trox. But if we pull up to the uh, diamond version of Trox, which comes in his normal Ventus colours, he has this weird symbol next to his name. Now, Initially, I thought it was the diamond because it's got this shape at the top of the diamond, but it also has this little nub on the bottom. But it's been readied out, almost as if it was a factory error. Or is it a new symbol entirely? So it's very strange that only on this one, I'm assuming it's a readied out version of the diamond. And maybe this was a mispack that was never meant to happen, like this Diamond Trots was perhaps maybe not meant to be in this, it was meant to be a Diamond version of Ventry maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe not, we do not know, so I just noticed it and it was very strange, because as I said, it's not on this version of Trucks, but it is on there, so what do you guys think that might be, we'll take a closer look at this in the next video, um, so whilst we've got this on the back, let's take a quick look at the back at the uh, quick view of the stats. So in Mantid, it's 300-300, 200-100, 300-100. So pretty fairly even all round, I suppose. This goes up to 600, that's 300, that goes up to 400. So balances out, okay, more in favour of his, um, his health. And because he's the special attack, he's the only one that gets the double up bonuses and... I'm not sure whether you can apply the gear to the regular cards, like the, the core versions. I'm assuming so. To add maybe a weapon or a boost in stats, maybe maybe that comes in the advanced game. We do not know yet till we get a proper rule book. Um, so these ones will only have just the single stats. So for Darkus, Titanium Dragonoid. I'm going to refer them as their old factions just for now, just for simplicity's sake, because we just do not know. So for the Darkest Dragonoid, it comes with 200, 400, 100. And then for the Aquos Trox, we're going with 300, 400, 300. So Trox, fairly even as well, pretty on par with Mantid over here, without his, um, without his boosts. So let's uh, get this open now. Uh, these ones, they don't open like the uh, normal ones. These open from the side. So, oh, I accidentally left a little bit of tape there. Let's, uh, let's get the trusty old scissors. And we shall bust this guy open. For now, and there's a little bit of a bit of cording in this, so trying to figure out the best way to get in there. Yeah, my man said, Let me in. I'm trying to set you free. Okay, does not want to let me do that. Let's uh, try it from the back. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take this off camera real quick. So we'll. Uh, hmm. So when I went into the uh, Smiths today, they did have the um, the bigger five pack, but there was only one left, and there was a little kid in there with his mother wanting to grab it so I weren't I weren't gonna grab it for myself. I would have picked it up had I um had it just been me in the aisle grabbing all these. But I weren't gonna take it away from a little kid. I mean 
that 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 would have been just been a, a bit of a dick move on my part so i'll let the uh, little kid have it so hopefully they'll have more of those in stock and maybe some of the um the other ones because they only have the um the pyrus nilius version in stock at that moment but okay so uh got uh, all these guys open let's uh just make sure we got everything. Grab all the cards. Right, so let's uh, let's just quickly assemble the mantid. This one doesn't come with the bug like. Uh, that's on the wrong way. Doesn't come with the bug like um, special attack, it comes with the same one that uh, Cosmic Nilius did. Come on. Just in a different colour, so we are getting to uh, get different colours of these as well. Against the same colour base as all the previous ones currently. Um, right, so Manted, you, uh, you go on backwards. Uh, here's the white version of Mantid, looking really nice. I love the white on this, I do admit. Like I said, the colours on these new Bakugan are popping really nice. And a bit of facial detail there. Even has a little pupil in his eye. Get a good look at his, uh, his back so you can see all his uh, inner workings. That closes up just like the last one. I'm not so sure if I like the contrast to the white with the yellow, if I'm being honest. So let's just uh let's just try some real quick. Comes off very easily. Let's uh, try with the uh The one that came with Dragonoid. That's quite cool. I quite like the uh, the white on grey look. But for, for now, we'll... Uh, we shall just keep him on his... Uh, his default one that he came with for now. So, we shall... Comes with two gate cards. Let's see which ones we get. Okay, so we get M01 INSB Insect B. Uh, which one did the uh, last one come with? That one came with A, so I have half of the uh, map now complete. Nope. So it comes as a uh, bit of a honeycomb-like pattern. Uh, it came with B, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So yep, there's, there's that one. And then the other one it comes with is M01 DINB, so dinosaur, dino maybe? Very uh, sporadic terrain there, it comes with different forms of rock, that looks like tar, some other kind of rock, with granite, maybe volcano, and then some weird desert like pattern maybe? Yep, certainly, uh, certainly interesting. Uh, no rule book, just comes with just comes with this uh, little poster thing. So I visit back and go and see the full collection. Whether the website or not is updated, we do not know just yet. And here's the Robots code. So it's uh, another Mantis. I'll leave that on the screen for uh, a couple of seconds, so anyone that wants the Roblox code can have it. Again, it's first come, first serve. Whether or not they uh, they work, we do not know. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at some of these cards. So first up, we have Trox. So uh, if we just open him up, comes with the core version. Uh, if I remember seeing correctly, it's the legs that stand out backwards. Very, uh, very chunky boy. So I'm assuming, like, 
with Trox's faction, he comes with the dino, so there's the dino faction symbol. Uh, very chunky, chunky trucks. Uh, so let's take a look at this card. They're looking very more organic this time, save for a few bits that are like armor and stuff on them, but this season they are going for a more organic, I suppose, Bakugan look. Kind of return into uh, the G1 sort of versions in a way. So he's 300, 400, 300, pretty well balanced. Um, so there's the front and there's the back of Trox's character card. Who have we got next? The Darkest Titanium Dragonoid. So he's 200, 400, 100. And then you get... I think that means if you have three dragon kind on your team, you get plus 300 to add to a stat of any kind. I'm going to take a wild stab here. This, I'm assuming the bonuses apply to whatever sort of symbol you land on. So, for instance, if he lands on the green flame... He's actively using the 400 stat, and then you apply the bonus, if you meet the criteria for the bonus, to that stat to boost it even further. That's my guess at maybe how that works. Uh, there's the front of the car, there's the back of the car. Let's take a quick look at the Titanium Dragonoid toy. Pretty cool in Darkus, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, obviously... This, I dub the uh, Leg Day Dragonoid. He's very stubby on his legs. He's clearly been missing Leg Day. And then, as we saw already, Manted. The special attack version. So he comes with 300, 200, 300. And he comes with a new kind of stat. It's a picture of the three, I'm assuming, character cards here. And it has a plus symbol on them. So maybe if you uh, have this, you can plus a character card to your roster, maybe. Uh, again, without a rule, but we just don't know what all this means yet. So there's the front. And then we, of course, have his Scorch Whips. So... One we've seen before has Nilius on the uh, the bottom there. So, taking a, another stab again, the special attack rings are specific cards. So this would be the Scorch Whips. That comes with just in a different colour. So that's kind of cool to know. But there we go. We add that to that. So... Adds another 300 to his health, 100 to his uh, stamina, and then 100 to his magic. And this version of Scorch Whips is gold. So, pretty cool to know. So, let's take a look at the aforementioned new character cards. Let's see who we've got. Okay, so we've got Mia. Blank on the heart. Um... I'm assuming that's where she wants the bonus, because if you land on that, she gets a plus 300 for it. 100 on the stamina thing, and then 200 on the magic. So that's Mia, really interesting character design. Got a spike bracelet. Kind of reminds me of um, Leah, in a way, so I'm assuming this is going to be the new version of Leah. Mm. Just Mia instead. Mm. Maybe it's a cousin of some kind. So, there's the front and there's the back. And who do we have next? We have Backslash. So I'm assuming we're, we're, from what everyone's guessing, this is the new villain or villains of the, the show. These weird bug-like guys. Comes with the spider gun. Um, don't know what it's called yet. Arachnid or something, maybe. And uh, all this weird bug-like gear, some gauntlets and whatnot, and a weird knockoff masquerade mask. But yeah, backslash. Um, the bonus for bug teams, he gets 400 to the blue stats, but 
comes with a 100 and then 100 for his health and stamina. So that's uh, interesting. So we have backslash. So there's the back. And then we have Griffin. So he comes with 100 and then for the green, if you have dinos on your team, he gets 400 to that. And then 100 for his, uh, his magic. So there's Griffin with Trox. So I wonder if this is um, Winton's, one of Winton's brothers or sister, brother and sister's uh, siblings. Maybe a cousin of some kind. Uh, again, we do not know if this is going to be a direct sequel to the series. Because we have a returning character already with that being Dan, we know of. We've seen his cards get leaked already. But then again, Dan... Dan and Dragonoid have been like the staples, like the poster child of the franchise going ever since its start. So whether they're just bringing that character again on and rebooting him again, we do not know. Uh, yep, same back as the other ones. So it comes with this uh, new Ripcord system. Um, this is the Rip card. So don't know is what's this before. Is this to store? The card, maybe? Don't really know. Uh, so I wanted to test out this feature. It does not hold the cards sleeved. So that's, that's a bit disappointing for those proper pro trading card players. Mine's got a little bit of a thing there that's uh, going to rip the card. So I'm going to have to shave that down, so let's try and, so basically you put the cards in there and that's uh, your little holder to, in essence, hold the cards as you're playing the game. So we've got Mantin along with Scorch Whips here, and then he has like this uh, rip, the rip cord, which does as a, um, it's very rigid, very nice. It, very sturdy so it's not gonna it does feel loose a little bit there wise but I don't feel it's gonna impact the whole rip system now it is the short form version so you're not gonna get much rip out of it unless you pull it really hard so let's try it He just knocks trucks out. So you do get a fair decent amount of rip out of that. Um, I'd say this is designed for maybe a quick on-the-go battle. Um, don't know what that section's for. Is it? It's an indent for it. Um, is it to maybe carry more of your character cards? Maybe. I I, I don't know it. It's very strange. It doesn't grip anything very well. It doesn't look like it's a belt clip of any kind. Sounds a little bit strange. I wonder what that bit's for. But I do feel when it comes to the rip cords, if you're going to be playing that kind of game, I recommend using the, um, the longer versions because you do get more out of them, as I said. And with this one, you can choose the amount of strength that you want it for. So that feels about the same, and um, Mantis just fell completely apart. <laughs> okay. That that was a that was a bit concerning. Either I've got myself a very bad batch, or something else is uh, something else is going on there. <laughs> but there's Mantis again. So let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to seeing this kind of system? What uh, what you think all this is going to do for the game, per se? Like I said, we, we know there's going to be two versions of the game. There's the basic version that we know of at the moment. Then there's going to be this version of the game where you add these cards, these character cards to the game. And the card start feels very nice, saying a lie. Um, feels... Um, Feels thicker and um, a lot more, a lot more premium than the old training cards that we got previously. As little as them as we got, 
Um, so they feel a lot more thicker and a lot more better. I will admit that with these. Um, so what do you guys think um, is going to be uh, going on with the advanced game? How do you think it's going to play out? And what do you think we're going to be able to do with it all? So let's just get all these guys in for the uh, end sort of end shot. Let's uh, fold Drago's legs back in so we can actually stand. But let me know which uh, which character you guys like the most out of um, this particular set. Um, who you are looking forward to seeing character wise in the upcoming show. Um, what direction you think the show is going to go in? If you think we're going to get any more returning characters. One character I would love to see returned, and whether they can do it or not, because they did it with Leonidas, I would love to see Helios come back the most. He He's a uh, very well fan-favorited Bakugan um, that we, uh, we all loved, as well as the character of Spectra, so I'd love to see maybe a possible hint or a callback to that. Uh, let me know guys what you think in the video and as always like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future uploads if all goes according to plan the way i've set the next few videos for these the set is premieres uh, so this one will be a premiere one and um, if you want to jump in the chat the live chat as the premiere is happening um, i will also be jumping in and trying to answer as many questions as i can I do that in the discords regardless, specifically um, Haru Ren's Baku Talk server. Um, if you're subscribed to him, I believe his servers are linked in the description. Um, in his descriptions, as well as the Bakugan Wiki, uh, the Brawler Cafe, and um, the Reddit Bakugan server as well. I'm in all those servers, so um, I do hop in and out from time to time. So I will try and answer as many questions as I can there as well. Because obviously, being in the UK, we're the only ones that have currently got this. I think Australia is now getting these. So, a lot of um, stuff going across the ponds, apart from the United States at the moment. But I'm expecting the US will be getting these probably soon. They're probably arriving in the ports and shipping containers as we speak. So, they're probably going to be in the shelves within the next month or two for you guys. But uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video.